Hello everybody. Um, I'm just here to show you kind of the interface of League of Legends and how to get started playing and how to navigate around there. I think. First you'll have to get an account, username and password. Don't have an account, you can sign up from the the login screen. So this is when you first come in, this is what it looks like. You have the anything to take you to the homepage. You have friends list when you get friends, chat rooms, notifications. Um, we'll start with the settings. This is different settings. Um, language filters. If you don't like people with some people have bad language, so <clears throat> other different preferences. This isn't this is not in game preferences. When you get into a game you have to go to the settings in the game to alter the different preferences in the game like the quality of the game the speed that you're in the game at everything like that um, help dialog this kinda gives you a little help about the game a lot okay this is your own profile the little person you have your name different people you play leagues your history this is the list of all the different champions that are available to play, the ones you have, the ones you don't have, and the ones you have are lit up, the ones you don't have are locked. And as you can see, there are a lot of champions to play. Um, <clears throat> a more in-depth look, there's these things called runes, they help you, masteries as well, it's the same thing, uh, different spells, and then items. Okay, then you have the store. This is where you can buy champions, and League of Legends is a free-to-play game. It doesn't cost a, a penny to play the game. Um, but with that being said, you can use your money to buy different things on the game that you can only use by paying for. Um, but it doesn't allow anyone to be any better it doesn't give anyone an advantage because you spend money. Um, you were at the same playing field as everyone. There's no, oh, because you spent fifty dollars in the game, you have a better chance of winning than this person. No, they this the they do not believe in paying to win. Um, here's other champions that you can buy that you don't have, and you can buy them with influence points, which is the points you earn from playing games. Um, by winning, you get more. Losing, you still get some, but you don't get as many. Um, and these are called riot points. This you get for buying points with your own money or getting cards that have them on it. That's how you would get these points. Um, <clears throat> there's champions. There's this. The skins is also is like different costumes for your characters that you can use. Um, let's see. Icons are these right here. You can buy different ones that you want. Here's where you get your rune pages. Um, boosts are to help you level up faster or to get these points faster. Um, bundles account, you can transfer, you can change your name, you, but it costs to change your name. Um, you can transfer to different areas, like if you moved across the world. Codes, this is where you insert any codes that you get, like if you go to Hastings and buy a card with points on it. Oh, we can go back and see if this champion thing loads. Um, okay, it looks like this is not wanting to load today, so I'll just go right into um, how to play the game. Go back to the home page. You can always go back to the home page by clicking on the little icon here. This is how you get started playing the game. Here, there's always tutorials. Here's the training, and it kind of gives you a little uh, how-to on the game. There's these things called custom games where you can create and play with your friends um, in a private game where you only want your friends to play. Co-op versus AI is where you team up with people, either your friends or random people that want to play this. And you can play against intro, which is the level. Um, they're AIs. It's just artificial intelligence, which is just... They're called bots, and all they do, they, they're role that you can do from the intro to beginner, 
and then intermediate, it's just how level of difficulty the bots become. And then you have PvP, which is player versus player. This is where you play against other people on the other team. Um, and the, in the picture that I showed you on the help page, it shows a picture of the original basic Summoner's Rift, which is the normal map that you play on, on basic 5 versus 5. Um, there's another map called Twisted Tree Line, which is a much smaller map, and it's only 3 versus 3. But as far as getting into the game, this is what you're going to want to learn first. Um, there's multiple different ways of playing. There's this thing called Team Builder, which is where you get to match, you get to build a team and get your position set before the game starts. Then you have this the one that majority of people play is called Blind Pick, which is it's a 5v5. So your team, you get matched up on one side of five people, and the other team gets matched up on five people. And it's first come, first serve on picking who you want to play and what position you want to play. If someone calls the role that you want before you, then typically they get it before you. The other one in normal is called draft pick. This is a more organized way of playing the game. It's still the five versus five setup, and you have you pick people in, in this one. You don't all get to pick at the same time like you do in blind pick. In this one, it is you have a person who picks first on one side, and then the other team gets two picks. Then you get two picks. Then they get two picks, and the, or you get one pick. They get two. You get two. They get two, and then. You get two and they get one. So they get the last single pick and you get the first single pick. But whatever order you are in is usually what pick you get. So if you're the first pick, you get the cho you get your choose of whatever you want to play. But if you're the bottom pick, then you don't always get to play what you want. And by winning games, and losing you get some experience points, but winning games you obviously get more. You get to level up. Right here you can see I'm a level 30, which is the highest you can go. Um, the level... It, you basically only get it by playing. It doesn't mean uh, every, everyone's level 30 once you hit 30. It, it doesn't give you any sort of rank as, as far as being good or not good. It's just how much you play. And once you hit 30, you can play this thing called ranked. Ranked is where you, that is where you get your own as far as, uh, like your own rank as far as how good you are. There are five different divisions. There's different divisions. There is bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Those are the five divisions you can get placed into. Obviously, bronze being the worst and diamond being the best. Um, you usually play, you can play by yourself, or you can invite one other person to play with you. You can't play with more than one other person unless you do a whole team of five. So you can't play with three people or four people. So it's either two, one, two, or five. <clears throat> and when you play, and you usually, you start getting, um, you play 10 matches to get placed into a certain division. And depending on how you do in those matches, depends on what you get placed into. If you do really well, you get placed higher. If you don't do so good in some of the games, you get placed a lot lower. If you usually play about average and win some and lose some, then you'll get placed probably in the middle. Once you get placed, that doesn't mean that's where you're stuck at. Um, by once you get placed, you start. It's like a ladder system, and you start out where you're at. And by winning games, you can move up in the in the uh, divisions to get a higher rank. Ultimately, at the end of the they call them seasons. Uh, at the end of the season, wherever you end up, you'll get bonus rewards or you unlock prizes and everything they give you for being in certain ranks. And obviously, the higher one you're in, the better prizes you get. Well, that is a look at League of Legends, the interface of the game. Um, I will post another video showing the game itself and maybe some how you can alter the settings and everything like that in the game.